move more like this, three. Try again. Yes, master. You'll get better. Rest a moment, and I will test your mind. Trini, what is the most honorable tradition of Kung Fu? In Kung Fu, we always honor the tradition of the fair fight. Always face your opponent with equal numbers. Good. Now to help you master the praying method style, I have brought along this. Serve the mattis, delicate but powerful, peaceful, always ready to defend itself. It's so difficult, Master. It just means you have to work harder to perfect it. I'll keep at it, Master. be doing the 18 hand tactics eagle sees the gullet okay so let's break the technique down and now i'll break the technique down for you so as mr robinson comes in and punches i'm going to step back and block grabbing with my eagle claw going forward and grabbing the throat with the eagle claw as well Okay, one more time, full speed. Just blocking, stepping forward, and grabbing. Do the tiger and crane self-defense techniques. First, we'll look at the crane techniques. To look at the crane techniques, we have to understand that the crane is an evasive, quick, uh, moving animal. To form a crane's beak, we bring all the fingertips together. We can use the wrist to block or to hook. We can use it to block this way or to hook this way, and then poking with the fingers to the eyes or other soft, vulnerable areas. Let's begin with the first technique. Blocking inside, Mr. Robinson goes to the outside and pokes him in the eye. Let's look at it again. This time, Ty will attack him with two hands. And again. One and two. This time Mr. Robinson will follow with a crane wing block and a kick. Now let's take a look and see what happens if he blocks the kick. Now we'll take a look at some of the tiger techniques. First we have to understand the tiger claw. The tiger claw is a five finger claw fingers bent. We can use the palm heel as well as the fingertips to not only claw and rake but also to get into vulnerable areas. So we begin with a single punch. Mr. Robinson blocks, grabs, and tears. Now he's going to follow that technique with another tiger claw using a palm strike. This tactic is called twisting a strand of silk. And again, this is another chin ah technique. Remember, chin means to seize, na means to control. This is a joint locking technique. Now we're gonna do a cross wrist grab. This means he's gonna grab a cross. So his right hand to my right hand. Notice where his thumb is. From here, I'm gonna counter grab. And as I kind of grab, I'm gonna bring my hand up. I'm also gonna step back and turn, causing him to not just lean forward, but additionally making him want to pull me back in. As he pulls me in, I'm gonna circle my hand around his wrist. As I do that, notice his arm bending, and I'm gonna drive him to the ground as I pull up on his hand. Let's demonstrate a little faster. Now I'll do it from a different angle. He grabs, I counter grab, controlling his fingers and his hands. I bring it up towards the ceiling, I step back and turn. 
As he pulls me in, I follow him in. I'm gonna circle my hand and bring it down towards the ground. Let's try it one more time, full speed. Dude, and do that. In order to defeat me, you'll have to be in complete harmony with your animal spirits and get very lucky. Come on, Lily, he's all ours. Are you sure about this, RJ? I don't want to dent your metaphysical zen. <laughs> I'm using the swoop technique. Eyesight is a bonus, not a necessity. Now, hit me with your best shot. Distracted and defeated. Remember, guys, the enemy is merciless and just as graceful as <laughs> me. <sighs> All right, it's enough for right now. Hello, I'm Shifu Malin with the Clearwater Kung Fu Center. This is Kung Fu for Health. We're going to be working on what's called a jump inside crescent kick. This motion is broken up into three steps. I'll demonstrate them for you nice and slow to begin with. Your first step is your single step. As you step, you let your arms just swing down naturally with your body. The next action is performing a tuck jump. As you lift your knee up, okay, you're going to bring your head and your knee upward. So this is step two. Step three is as your left leg is in the air, you're going to perform what's called an inside crescent kick. Inside crescent kick is where your leg is performing an arcing kick inward. Your knee stays straight as you do the kick and it goes out in. The left hand or the opposite hand of the foot that you're kicking with is going to be slapping the bottom of the sole of your foot. Okay, this is jump inside crescent kick. And if I step with my right foot, I'm going to kick with my right foot. Okay, so I'll go a little bit faster. Step, lift, jump inside crescent kick. Doing the kick faster. Again. Opposite side, breaking it down slow. Step left, I'm gonna kick left. Knee lifts, jump, right hand smacks the inside of my left foot. This is jump inside crescent kick, Kung Fu for health. This next how-to clip is on what's called front half sweep, back sweep. Going through the actions nice and slow for you to start with. I start from a normal position. I'm going to step forward with my left foot, bending the knee, and I'm going to kick my right leg out. My right leg is going to go straight in this arcing motion. Okay, so as I lower my body, I bring my right foot through, front sweep. Okay, and this is only half of motion. Okay, showing you the first half again. 
I go one, two. Okay, you'll notice that I'm controlling my upper body. I'm not leaning back over my leg and I'm not leaning forward too much. The second part of this is the half sweep, the back half sweep. Okay, so I've done my first half sweep here. My second half sweep, my weight shifts, my hands go up and then behind me to my left as I sweep out with the left foot. Okay, then come up. Again, going through the combination for you, putting it a little smoother together. I go one, two, stand up. Again. One, two, stand up. Okay, your hands can help you support the body as you move. And now a message from the Power Rangers. Bugging you, Curtis? Yeah, you! Sure, Curtis. Why doesn't Jason just take him out? Ah! What's the matter? A master of martial arts knows to meet an opponent with discipline and self control. Ah! This guy doesn't want self control. Chill, sure, man. Get you! Ah! He wants a fight. Ah! In the martial arts, you meet any conflict with the least amount of force. You okay, man? No, man, I'm not. Come on, let's talk about it. You've just witnessed the highest form of martial arts, making a friend of an enemy. 